Wayne's bridge. So it's uh, another kind of bridge for determining the frequency. So it's done in a very easy way, the same way. Four dots. Here are resistances there. Resistance and the capacitor in series. Another resistance. Resistance. Here a capacitor is in parallel. So this is our Wayne's bridge. This is our R1, C1, R2, C2, R3, R4. And this is our deflector. I1 current goes from here, I2 current goes from here. At balanced condition, no current flows from here. So I1 from here, I2 from here. Name A, B, C, D. This is E1, E2, E3, E4. Let's have a look at the more neat diagram. So this is our actual diagram. So this capacitor is in uh, parallel with this and this is in series. So this current flows from here since no current since it is in a balanced condition so the same i1 flows through this r3 here also since this is in balance no current flows from here so this i2 current flows from this r4 resistor so at balanced condition condition that is ig equals to 0 there is no deflection so uh, what will be the case? The case will be Z1, Z4 equals to Z2 into Z3. That is E1 equals to E2, E1 equals to E2 and E3 equals to E4. So Z1 uh, is I1 into R1 plus G omega C1. Or since this is in parallel, so 1 by Z1 that is impedance equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by minus GX C1. Calculating this, we will get this expression Z1 equals to R1 by 1 plus J omega C1 R1. So our Z1 is R1 by 1 plus J, J omega C1 R1. Similarly for Z2, this R2, this is in a series. So R2 minus J X C2. Z2 equals to R2 minus J X C2. X C2 is same as J by omega C2. So Z2 equals to R2 minus J by omega C2. Z3 is nothing but R3. Z4 impedance is nothing but R4. Now at balanced condition as we know Z1 Z4 equals to Z2 into Z3. So now we will do the calculation. We will put the value of Z1, Z4, R1 by this into Z4 that is R4. Putting the values, we get an expression like this. Now when we equate the real and the imaginary part, we get R4. That is the this is the real part. This J is the imaginary part. So we separate them. This are the real part. This is the imaginary part. <coughs> So from which we will be getting omega the imaginary part we will be getting this 1 by R1 R2 C1 C2 and thus uh, omega is nothing but uh, omega is 2 pi f right f equals to 1 by 2 pi into omega f equals to 1 by 2 pi omega so this is our frequency expression so as we know omega equals to 2 pi f so f equals to omega by 2 pi omega value 1 by 2 pi so we get the value of frequency with the help of Wayne's bridge